Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. It's BMW Dr. Dean here and today I'm going to be showing you and um, reviewing BMW Dr. Genie. Now, nobody really knows much about this software because like I say, this doesn't come part of the package with Impar, NTS and Wing KFA. So nobody really knows about this. Obviously you can see I'm using version B021. The only one people will be able to download online, which you can find it online, I'm not gonna sit here and say you can't, is B022, but it will not work because you need the activation code. The person that used to activate it is no longer around. Luckily for me, I have the full version. Um, so now I'm gonna show you how to do it. So this, the only limited limitations to this program is you cannot use it below any car below E60, it only works with E60, E90 and all cars up from them with a load of modules fitted. This will not work on E39, E46 or older. So this program is only limited to a certain amount of cars. So I'm gonna click identification. So as you can see, identification running. And there you go. It'll bring up all your modules, all on what network they're on. Um, and obviously if you ever need to code or program them, you can see the module numbers here, the address, Again, it's just like Impa, like I showed you in the previous video. You can see what module your old network they're on from the SGBD file. And you can just go straight into WinKFP and just click that and it'll find the file automatically for you. As you can see, there's another lot of information here. It tells you what module it is, the climber or the DME. And it tells you what make they are. So for instance, as you can see, Siemens, and it will tell you Siemens again, VDO, VDO. So it tells you quite a lot of information that you a lot of people won't even know. Impa is will t probably tell you the same. Whether it shows you all this, I don't know. I've never really looked into it in part. Um, the next thing we can actually show you is the vehicle order. Obviously, the vehicle order will show you everything. So if I just read, you'll see my probably car pop up there. As I said, it will show you everything that was fitted to your car from factory. So as you can see, everything on my car here, which was fitted from factory, now, as you can see, the battery, it will tell you the battery it was fitted with as well. If you want to try and buy the right battery, if yours is not using the correct battery and you bought the wrong one, it tells you 80 amps an hour. So that's the battery my car come with from factory. Now, the gauge, and now next thing is gauges. Now, you can pick to show different gauges or you can configure the gauges to what you want to see. So, for instance, now if I click the, the gauges and then I click read, now it will read everything in my car. Now, as you can see, everything's gone up. It takes a bit of time for everything to go up. So as you can see, the oil pressure, the inlet air temp, the engine speed, the torque, the engine temp, the battery voltage, which is keeping stable, everything else on it, the rail pressure, the fuel rail pressure. And obviously if I rev it, you'll see all of the needles will go up, as you can see. But the rail pressure is staying steady, which is a good thing. So I don't have no problems with my fuel injectors at least. So as you can see, the water pump as well will show you that further down, which is down here. The water pump solenoid, the water pump itself. So it's spinning at 35 RPM because that's because I'm sitting stationary. So as I said, you can check a lot of things in this program just on its own. Now, Expert. Now, Expert is tool 32. This is what you'll use to speak to the computer. If you couldn't change the VIN number because... Um, WinKFP won't let you, you can use this and you can use your arguments to change the VIN on things, you can code different things in. It's a bit like eSystem, but it's not. It's very complicated to use. Um, I'm gonna be doing a video showing you how to use that, but because it does take a lot of skill to be able to use that. Again, it's in, all in German. You've got to know which each one is in term to use. So that is not one I'm, I'm planning to use today. It's gonna to be something I'm gonna use on Tool32. Tool32 runs exactly the same as this. Put in the ECU the job number that you want to do and the argument and then it will bring up all the arguments down here then you just select the arguments and hit the argument in to change it program 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 now this is all to do with like enter z usb so that's what i'll send you on the beginning of dr genie this will get you all your information from the beginning to know what module you need to program and then you enter it here your z usb number you can then program your card straight through this. This is a lot safer than WinKFP, trust me, Dr. Genie. I prefer to use Dr. Genie to program the car. Obviously, again, I don't need to program my car, so it's a bit useless to even have to reflash it again. But this is a lot more easier. Like I said, you can do everything in one application. Dr. Genie is very good for that reason. You have to keep switching between applications, not knowing which one you've got left open, and the uh, then the OBD port doesn't read properly because the decan cable is having problems with reading because it can't read the, mo the modules because you've left one of the programs open. So it's actually easier 
for you to actually just use one program and do it all instead of keep closing, opening, closing, opening. For instance, when you program, you've got to use WinKFP, you use Impar, and sometimes a lot of people leave Impar open, then you're like, that is not reading with their WinKFP and not picking up their Edia bus. Now that is all because they've left Impar open trying to read the modules from there and trying to read them back into WinKFP. Now you can't do that. That's why you have to print the screen, pull it on your desktop, and then use WinKFP because only one thing can use the DCAN cable at a time. So if you're trying to use two programs at once, your DCAN cable will not work. It can only be one program at one time. Now, um, obviously, the software itself is very good. Like I say, for instance, I could just grab the number from here or I can grab the module from here because in WinKFP, when you click comfort mode and enter ZUSB, you just find this one here so I'll click MSV70, click OK, and then click Program ZB Update. It will find the module, and if my one's on the latest firmware, automatically. I don't have to enter these numbers. It will find it by that list. So it's a very good software, but it's very limited software, because I don't think, obviously, a lot of people are going to view this video, because a lot of people don't even know about it. The mo main software people know about is Impa, NCS Expert, WinKFP, and ISTA-D, and ISTA-P, but ista P starting to get phased out now, due to the lack of... Uh, use of it because people ain't having to use it and it's a very risky program now because you've got everything built into ista d and ista d is now more reliable with an uh, with a decan cable to actually flash and program the f10s via that now but i still prefer to use an icom the reason i'm using a decan cable i have on icom is the is because purely because a lot of you guys will be using a decan cable so i'm trying to show you that as you can see my decan cable is plugged in and it's fully working as you see i've been using it on mostly all the programs working if you have any faults with a DCAN cable, it's usually because of the lead you have received. That is common. The chip in them probably don't work, or it's not switching. Nathan had the same problem with an ICOM. They sent them an ICOM, and it was missing the solder connection to read older cars. It would only read newer cars on the ICOM next. So that's what happens. They've got to solder a joint inside the DCAN cable to make it run for E cars series and F series. That's why there's a switch on them. He got a new icon and it ended up working on all the cars now on the E60. As I told him, it was a problem. It's a common problem. You just have to be very wary of it. And when you receive it, if it don't work, don't think it's nothing you set up right. First thing to inspect is the cable. The cable is the first thing. Check your settings and then look at the cable. Don't keep thinking of uh, deleting the program and reinstalling it. It's usually to do with the cable. It's usually down, not down to user error. It's down to the cable itself. When it's sent, it gets banged around by the courier. When you receive it, it ends up being destroyed, the chip inside. So if you receive and you don't get no communication with the, the lead, use this cable. Impa will pick it up, but Impa will not read the codes because the cable's faulty. That's what usually happens. That's it for it, guys. Please check out Nathan's channel again. <clears throat> Obviously, he's been helping me build up my subscribers, and I've got to thank him dearly. Um... I'm going to be doing a lot, lot more videos based on the software side of things and showing you now Tool32 in the next video. I hope you've been enjoying my channel. Please like, share and subscribe and please like and share it with your friends as well because it's very important. I'm trying to get as many subscribers as possible. Um, I'm the only one probably doing this software now. If you go and look on previous videos, people have done them three, four, five years ago. I'm going to be continuously doing them, continuously doing them. When all the latest updates come out and the programs are updated, I'm going to be showing you how to do it from year upon year i'm hoping to stay around you for a very long time to help people out in need of using these programs as i don't believe in people going to the dealer and getting ripped off to have their diagnostics done i will help people when it's needed as much as i can i can't answer every question but i will answer as many as possible if you have any problems please just leave a comment in my box below this is bmw dr dean here i'm going to be leaving now i hope you've been enjoying my videos will you all take care and goodbye